Uh, begin quest. Oh, don't mind if I do. If you want to best a monster with a sharp tail. Be careful out there, Pard. Be careful, Pard. Gotta have a sharp mind to take out a monster with a sharp tail. Get it? It's funny, because I said sharp, like, twice. I used the same word in two, like, with two, like, definitions of the word in, like, one sentence, so that makes it clever, I guess. Oh, okay, so I have to, uh, I have to cut scene before I can, uh... Or I can do the thing. Alright, fair enough. Alright, Mr. Scout Flies, where are we going? Oh yeah, I gotta remember to pick up the uh I gotta remember to pick up footprints. That'll be less footprints to collect later. Dude, you're so lucky you didn't uh watch the stream a couple streams ago. The shit was terrible, man. It was just like looking up or it was just like look like looking for tracks. For like way too freaking long, and then I thought we were done. And it's like, now look for a bunch of more fucking tracks. And I was like, god damn. It, it's, just, it's like, every time I thought I was done looking at looking for tracks, we'd have to find more fucking tracks. And I was just like, Jesus Christ, dude. I don't remember there being this much fucking uh, tracks the first time I like played through the game. Okay, am I even going the right way? Um... Ah, uh, Jeebus. I can't even follow the scout flies. Where are they? There should be a button that just makes the scout flies, like, pop out of you and go in a direction. Because, like, right now, I can't see, like, where they are. There probably is a button to do that, actually. Oh, uh, speaking of not knowing the buttons. Between the first and second playthrough, I forgot how to do, like, the, the lance charge thing. I didn't know about it until I was almost done with my first let, uh, playthrough. I'm so used to just saying let's play to everything. But my first playthrough that I didn't record, I learned it like towards the end. And then by the time, and then like a year went by before I played it again on stream. And then I like totally fucking like forgot how to do it. Plus there wasn't, uh, there wasn't a lance. I don't think there was a lance dash in Monster Hunter 3 Try. So it's not part of like my muscle memory. Dude, fucking flies, man. Dude, these scout flies, like they are useful, I guess, but it's also like very fucking like annoying when they're just like, here's the stone, pick up the stone. I'm like, I don't want to know where the fucking stone is, yo. I don't want to know where the red pit is. I don't care about the red pit. Well, I guess it's just, uh, let's just run places, I guess. We'll find it eventually, right? Uh, I guess we should probably check out the, uh, the big open deserty area. Would probably be the best bet. The area that's, like, super mega far from where I currently am. It's great. Oh, goddamn. Already full on shit? Well, I guess I didn't leave much room. I like overpacked or whatever, over prepared. But to each mushroom I get is is uh it's two research thingies, so I want to go ahead and I uh, just need to make sure to remember to grab mushrooms whenever I see them since it counts for two things. I, I don't have to collect them and keep them. I could technically just pick it up and throw it away immediately, right? I should have just thrown away the nitro shroom. Pretty sure those are less useful for me, right? My god, there's mushrooms everywhere here. Okay, do we have like a big giant fucking monster that wants to kill me? Anywhere? Bueller? Okay, let's check this other giant huge expansive area. I mean, they're not going to put another monster in the in the Diablo zone underneath, right? Oh, well, I guess if I'm looking around and I'm right here, I might as well check it. Oh, it didn't say to kill it. It just says to sight it.
<clears throat> discovered Diabolus. No, I actually already discovered him several episodes ago, dude. Oh my gosh, okay, so where is this fool, yo? Oh, it says join the voice chat? I thought I did. I thought I did. I think it says waiting for waiting for you to join. I okay, just click on your thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna end this one and click on yours. Hold up. Oh, okay. Oh man, are you both in here? The CY High 4200. Zato. Uh. Okay. So, do the two of you know each other? Or are you just, is that how people make online friends? And I'm, I'm just like, because I'm not good at making online friends, I'm just like, the two of you are communicating, therefore you must be friends in real life. It's like, oh wait, I forgot. It's like really easy to make online friends if you just like do it properly. I don't even know like the etiquette or whatever. I guess you just like add someone, right? Okay, you say he's at the camp at six. Oh, so like around this area? So like straight ahead approximately? Now, is he always there? Because I remember in Monster Hunter 3 Try, like every monster had different places where they could be. So you'd, you'd go and check one place. If he wasn't at that place, you would check another place. And like every monster had the different zones that they would... uh that they would be at. They'd be at like one of three zones. So if you checked one, he wasn't there. You knew exactly where to go to check the next one. Because man, dude, I'm telling you, man. Don't get me wrong. I do like this game a lot. But I was like hardcore with Monster Hunter 3 Try. Like I knew where like every monster would be. And then there was always like more than one possibility too. So I knew like all the locations of like where all the monsters could appear. And yeah, not only that, but like I played, I played uh, that game like to the exclusion of like other stuff. Whereas like this, like I play this, plus I play whatever game I'm let's playing, plus I play like other stuff like in my own time. But when I played Monster Hunter Three Try, I like play like I played that game like. Actually, I think. I think there was a there was a period of time where I played it exclusively, and then there was a point where I sometimes played uh, Mario Kart Wii. And I played Mario Kart Wii exclusively for like, oh geez, I don't know, probably more than a year. And then I got addicted to Mass Effect 3 Online. I played that game exclusively for like a year. Oh, 11. Okay, we'll try 11 then. Yeah, I don't even, because everything is like connected like this. I never, uh, I never got to where I knew, like, which area corresponded with, like, which number. So, I mean, I've forgotten them all by now. But, like, if you, like, if you, like, envisioned a map in Monster Hunter 3 Try, I can envision what Area 6 looks like, or Area 4, or any of them. Okay, well, the camera spun me around. The camera spun me round, baby, right, round, or whatever. But because there's, like, no load screens... Well, because it would load, and it would show a map... It would show a map while while you were in the load screen. So you got, like... You got, like, really super, like, familiar with all the maps. Because you, like, looked at them so much. But, like, here, there's, like, no load time in between the areas... So you can cross from one area into another without even realizing it. Yeah, I, I gotta go for the blue scout fly things. They're actually almost halfway on this. Oh, now we're a little more than halfway. 
So in terms of like the numbers of areas, like I couldn't tell you any like area, like what any area number is on any of these. Uh, on any of these maps or whatever. Like it's totally foreign. All right, cutscene time. Oh, I see a thing. There's a there's a thingy on in the upper left corner. Oh, it's an activity feed. It shows when people follow you. And it shows uh it shows the it shows the two of you on it. I'm just so used to it saying it's quiet, too quiet. Like this is where we'll tell you about like uh we'll tell you about like notification y stuff. It's been empty for so long I just got in the habit of like not even looking at it. That's how I didn't I didn't know that y'all followed a while back or whatever. Oh, this is a kind of a cool looking guy. He's kinda of like bluish purple. <clears throat> oh damn. It would be funny if we just got like cleaved in half in the cutscene. It's like, oh, you died in a cutscene. Looks like you're dead for real. Oh, this is that Anjanath or whatever. Glavinous. Look at that tail. Or it's like the it's like the uh the enhanced version or whatever. I should not have done that. Also, I should do this. Oops, I should hit yes when asked if I want to fire the thing. Oh my god. Uh, it didn't fire, did it? I think it did. But maybe it did not. Let's go down here. Uh, so I can make sure. God damn it, it didn't fire. Okay, well, I'm probably dead. Man, I am super dead. I'm gonna die from fire damage. Okay, somehow I did not die. I'm still highly in danger of dying any second. Wow, okay, I, I couldn't even get up. The dude tail whipped me as I was getting up. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Well, I got the I got the uh, the flare fired off, so that's all that matters. I had to sacrifice a faint for it, but <laughs> hopefully it'll be worth it. But it also didn't help that I was I was like in this like dark, like weird area that I've like never like been to. I don't think I've ever like been there. So I'm like completely like unfamiliar with the environment and it's all dark and shit. Okay. Go ahead and drink some, some things. Oh man, so many thingies to drink. Uh, got to chow the rations. It's like the noob penalty. Having to wait for, wait for you to drink all the shits to get your life back. I kind of wish this cave wasn't so goddamn dark. And my fire defense is minus one. I do sort of like how this guy is incorporating the fire more. The first Anjanath, he like, he was fire. Like he did have like some fire elementaliness to him, but he didn't, uh, he didn't use his fire like very often. This guy seems to be leaning more into the, the fire element aspect or whatever, which I think is cool. It, it helps differentiate him from the other one.
<clears throat> so if both of you are in like triple digits, does that mean that you've done like everything in the game? Because I'm pretty sure when I played Monster Hunter 3 Try, I got to where I had like, I ha I got to where I had like all the best lances. I like I I liked that game so much that even though I think the last one, the last thing I needed to farm was I needed a Giganox gem to get a poison lance, even though I didn't even like really need it or whatever. But I'm pretty sure I got like a best, I got like the best of like all the lances. And at that point, I was just, like, playing the game, like, just legitimately for, like, the fun of the game or whatever. Like, there wasn't any, like, reason to necessarily do it. Like, there wasn't any, like, thing I was working towards game-wise. Other than just getting the stupid Giganox gem so I could get the freaking Poison Lance. Dude, like, the RNG gods were, like, that was, like, the one time in that game where the RNG gods were just, like... We're just like not good. I swear to God, I killed like a hundred of those fucking things. That fucking gem would not drop. But um, but when you once you get to a certain point, you're basically just playing the game out of like the love of the game, and then you would just like help other people out, and that's that was like what you were doing. You weren't even playing necessarily for yourself. You were playing basically just to like help other people out. I, I got to that point, so I was just curious that that's. I'm assuming that when you get to like a hundred, that that at that point you're just doing it or whatever. And by the time, especially if you get to four hundred, like you're probably just playing because you just like love the game or whatever. I don't know. I do like this game, but but uh. uh I don't know. I did get. I did buy. I did play Monster Hunter Generations, the one, the Wii U one or whatever. Well, I have it on Switch, but it, it was originally on Wii U, and um, that one feels more like old school. I think. I mean, I say this. I've said this already a bunch of times uh, over the course of this playthrough or whatever. But I do like this game a lot. There are things that I really, really like about it, but that old school feeling. Where it's like more like hardcore, like this game has a lot of like quality of life improvements, but that also makes the game like easier, you know. So I mean, this game is actually is actually like very forgiving in a lot of ways, but Monster Hunter Generations has that like that old school feel or whatever, where it's like you actually have to like practice at a monster, you know. Oh man, you know you got effed up when you need the double, the double mega potion to get your life all the way back up. Man, he's got dude's got some fucking range on that thing. Oops. Yeah, I gotta call it after this one. I don't, I don't have yoga in the morning, so I was able to stay up. I wasn't planning on I wasn't planning on staying up late because I I'm not going to yoga tomorrow. But but when I looked at the clock and said, "Oh shit, it's one o'clock," I didn't like need to desperately like get to bed. Damn! Look at the whipping action on that thing. Oh man, boy, thanks. I'm pretty sure that I was like 99% carried in that fight. I mean, I got hits on him, but man, this dude is, is like really effing strong. He was like effing me up. Like every hit was like a high potion or a, what do you call it, mega potion. And plus my fire defense like sucks donkey wang. So that probably didn't help either. Oh, are we gonna get something? Actually, you know what? Isn't there, isn't there a um, an armor sphere that's better than than the hard one? There's one. It's called like King Armor Sphere, I think, right? It gives you 200, right? I could be mistaken. I might have gotten one on like my other playthrough, on my other character.
Oh wow, I got I got notifications on my phone too that y'all followed. All right, cool. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're going on. I don't know if I live in the United States and it's really fucking late. <laughs> so I'm going to need to go to bed uh, after this. Plus, this stream is so long that it, when I load it into the editor, I don't know if it's going to, like, gum up the editor. It's probably not going to be happy at the very least. Oh, it is King? Yeah. I don't, I, I don't remember where I got it from. But I did get one. I can't imagine that I would have used it. Because because I didn't make it this far on my other character, there wasn't anything that I needed that required 200 points to, like, max out or whatever. So I don't think I would have used it. I wouldn't have used it if, if some of the effect was going to be wasted. Belkan is a formidable creature and is having an incredible effect on other life in the new world. As commander, I'd like to assess the situation with my own eyes. But... Are you from West Virginia? It's 3 a.m.? Oh, jeez. I normally don't. Well, on the weekends, I normally have yoga at 8 in the morning, so I can't stay up, like, super late. Plus, I don't like to I don't like to deviate too much from my normal work schedule. I have to be to work at 6.30, so I gotta wake up at, uh, at, uh, at like, quarter to 5. So I usually go to bed around, like, 9.10 normally. Or, you know, like, 9.45, 10-ish, 10.30 or whatever, somewhere around there. Maybe it's because I was born here. But yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't do the thing where I norm. Well, by the look on normally I don't do the thing where feel the same where way. I like you know like there's a lot you of people where they'll go to bed at 10 a.m. and then on Friday night and Saturday night they'll just stay up all fucking night and then just flip back. The fittest. Like my 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 sleep schedule is I'm usually pretty consistent. World, and I won't leave it behind. In fact, my sleep schedule is so consistent you all feel the that same when daylight savings time hit, then I just, I would just wake up at the, I just, I kept waking up like at the wrong time. Like I would wake up naturally, but it was just an hour off or whatever because like the time, because the hour changed, but my body like still woke up in at, like at the same time, even though the, the time on the clock was different. So it took like three days. Like every, like every day it got like a little bit closer to the time that I actually wake up. But it took like three days for it to like, for that hour to get like reabsorbed or whatever into my normal sleep schedule. Where I would wake up at the actual right time. By the way, I wasn't paying any attention to that cutscene. But then again, it's like, well, I haven't really been paying attention to, like, any of them. So I guess it's not, like, no major loss. I'm pretty sure that, like, 99% of people that uh, that do this, that play this, like, don't... They're not, like, super invested in the, uh, in the, uh, in, like, the story dialogue. So are you getting off then or what? Oh, I gotta wait for the cutscene to, like, end. Okay. I gotta, like, I gotta mash for a minute. Uh, Tigrex? I want to. I want to say I've heard that name before, but I don't know what it looks like. Rocio Diaz. I said this a while back. I forget if it was before you were here or not. But there was like this monster that he sort of looked like a Sasquatch, and that one got that one got the existence of that monster got like spoiled. Someone put it in a YouTube thumbnail, and a long ass time ago, I had to look up a YouTube video on how to find the first Wivarians. It's like go find the first Wivarians. It's out there somewhere. Go find them, fuckface. And uh, I got tired of looking, so I looked it up. So I looked up a video of it, and then like a month or two later, like there must be, there must have been like Our something deep down in the algorithm. Keep your eyes peeled for any Velcana You know, like when you watch back. a video, the algorithm will recommend like similar stuff or whatever. Like I watched that one video to locate the first Wivarians. I didn't watch any other Monster Hunter stuff. And then, you know, hundreds of YouTube videos later, it just randomly like suggests that one, that one video with that has the dude spoiled in the thumbnail. So I was like, oh, fuck. And it, the title said, like, Monster Hunter World uh, Iceborne or whatever. So I know that uh, that, that dude's here. I, I don't remember what the name is. And I only, I only saw, like, it was like, um, like, I didn't see, like, like what he looks like in 3D or whatever because I didn't watch the video. Um, but yes, I am, I am getting off. I'm going to do what gamers do. I'm going to save progress. And... After saving progress, I'm going to exit game and save again, because that's what you do.
Stay progress, indeed. Oh my god. Yeah, like I said, I've only done a couple of streams, but I haven't done... Oops. Okay, black screen. Yeah, newbie stream or black screen is what you get. I don't, I don't even have like a, um, like a BRB screen or any of that stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm. But uh, yeah, it was it was nice meeting y'all, and yeah, thanks for uh, for sticking around and and joining me uh, on those uh, quests or whatever. And thanks for uh, thanks for chatting. This is actually my first experience uh, like interacting with uh, with chat people. Um, and yeah, it's definitely something. So it's like, so it's like, do I like, like, yeah, I don't exactly know like how it's going to work. Like, do I actually read everything and re like, like it'd be, it'd be hard to like respond to like everything. Uh, you can join our VC. I don't know what VC is. Oh, voice chat. I forgot. I, I determined that earlier. See, I already forgot. <laughs> uh, am I getting off for what? Yes, I'm getting off. Oh, wait, I already read that. Man, see, yeah, yeah. Stream chat is like weird, but like I said, I'm just new at it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's gonna do it uh, for this. I guess I should probably do. I gotta do an actual outro. Uh, okay, well, YouTube's getting a black outro. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it uh, for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and also please subscribe if you are not subscribed. Subscribed already. Oh man, yeah, I'll fuck up the outro. Yeah, why not? Um, but anyway, I'll see you folks in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Y'all have a great day. Bye.